there's we can shrink some things down. A lot of them have been just communication wise. We have a team that just outside of Drew, you know, um, doesn't talk. They don't like to talk. They're very they don't <laughs> talk at uh, you know a team meal. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Why not? What's their deal? <laughs> <laughs> ha 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 i knew that was gonna be <laughs> man it's, it's an epidemic we had this discussion we had a recruit on this weekend and we were talking with the parents and stuff like can you imagine like th- 30 40 years from now when people come back and look at this uh time or let's just say and i don't believe in this crap but let's say uh, aliens came down or whatever and just saw us as humans i mean just and then just like somebody was saying, we pet our phones, you know. And, <laughs> I've and never heard this. that. And I, I, I told him, like, we were in San Francisco a week ago or 10 days ago or whenever that was. And I was out for a walk pregame or whatever. Three times, three times, dudes almost ran into me because they were just on their phones as you're walking. Yeah. And I'm just like, what are we doing, man? <laughs> like, yeah. You didn't push them away or give them the bird on no, your walk by? No, or... no, no. I'm just saying, so back to this communication deal. I mean, I, there's no question that that's a huge part of this. And, and, you know, and all we're trying to do is, you know, call out switches, call out ball screens, call out our coverages. And, and uh, it has been far and away the, hard, the biggest challenge for the staff uh, uh, with this group. That and just kind of general – body language kind of energy yeah. malaise kind of well but do you do you think there's a direct correlation from the cell phone usage off the court to the lack of communication on the court like you actually think that there's like a true correlation there oh he's a big believer in that do you do you not no no i, I actually do <laughs> what are your thoughts I, on this <laughs> i i 100 percent do like my last year last my fifth year last year i i that's all i was thinking about i was like i you know you end practice and the first thing all of my teammates did was you know you run to your locker and you're on your phone for 15 minutes yeah. and before you even untie your shoes so right. i'm like i low-key have a little bit of an old soul where i feel i lean more towards what you're thinking but i'm just curious like if you think it's a direct correlation on I the think, court uh, thousand percent i i really do and and i think back like Listen, coaching at Gonzaga is like the greatest gig in the world because you get awesome guys like him and a bunch of other guys that like you wouldn't even realize. Some of the conversations post practice in the locker room might be some of the most memorable things I've ever had in my coaching career. Just uh, yeah, literally, we had this kid named uh, Angel Nunez. He still comes around. He, he's here in the off season. Drew knows him, and uh, uh without. Uh, punch the clock. They come in. He, David Stockton, and uh, um, 